GFP, or green fluorescent protein, is a remarkable biomolecule that was originally isolated from the jellyfish Equoria victoria. This protein emits a brilliant green fluorescence when exposed to ultraviolet light. The glowing green appearance of the jellyfish in the image is due to the natural presence of GFP in its body. GFP has a fascinating history and is now widely used in various scientific and medical applications. I'll discuss some of the key applications of GFP later in the presentation. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, is a naturally occurring protein found in the jellyfish Equoria victoria. This protein emits a bright green glow when exposed to blue or ultraviolet light. GFP plays a role in the bioluminescence of the jellyfish. Over the years, GFP has become an incredibly valuable tool in biotechnology and biomedical research. Researchers can attach GFP to other proteins to track their movement and activity within cells. This allows them to study important biological processes in living organisms in real time. GFP has revolutionized fields like cell biology, genetics, and neuroscience by providing a powerful way to visualize cellular activities. Osamu Shimomura, a marine biologist, discovered GFP in the jellyfish Equoria Victoria in 1962 while studying the bioluminescence of jellyfish. In 1992, Douglas Pressure cloned the gene for GFP, paving the way for its widespread use in biotechnology. Roger Chen made significant contributions in the 1990s by developing new variants of GFP with different spectral properties and enhanced brightness, expanding the applications of GFP in research. The discovery and development of GFP has been a crucial milestone in the field of molecular biology, enabling researchers to visualize and track various cellular processes. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, is composed of a unique barrel-shaped structure with 11 beta sheets surrounding a central alpha helix. The chromophore, which is responsible for GFP's fluorescence, is located within this central alpha helix. The chromophore is formed through a spontaneous cyclization and oxidation reaction of a specific tripeptide sequence, serine tyrosine glycine. Depending on the specific variant of GFP, the wavelengths of light used to excite the chromophore and the emitted fluorescent light will vary. Understanding the structural properties and chromophore formation of GFP is key to utilizing this powerful fluorescent marker in biological applications. GFP is a fluorescent protein that absorbs UV light and emits green light. It has a peak excitation wavelength of 395 nanometers and 488 nanometers, and a peak emission wavelength of 509 nanometers. This narrow emission spectrum gives GFP a high signal-to-noise ratio, making it useful for various research applications. GFP also has a relatively high quantum yield, meaning a large proportion of absorbed photons are emitted as fluorescence. These spectral characteristics make GFP a valuable tool for labeling and tracking proteins, cells, and other biological structures. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, is a powerful tool that enables researchers to study a wide range of biological processes across different fields. In cell biology, GFP allows us to visualize and track specific proteins and cellular structures, providing insights into how cells function and interact. In microbiology, GFP is used to study gene expression and interactions in bacteria, helping us understand their behavior in various environments. GFP is also valuable in drug discovery, as it helps researchers understand the mechanisms of action for potential drugs and screen for new drug targets. This facilitates the study of drug efficacy and toxicity. Finally, in plant biology, GFP is used to investigate plant development and stress responses, 
allowing us to better understand the role of specific genes and proteins in plant processes. Overall, the versatility of GFP makes it a crucial tool for advancing our understanding of biological systems across multiple disciplines. Fusion proteins are created by attaching a fluorescent protein like GFP to a protein of interest. This tagging allows us to visually track and study the localization of the target protein within the cell. Observing the GFP signal reveals where the tagged protein is located, giving us insights into its function. GFP tagging enables us to study dynamic processes like protein movement, interactions, and changes in localization over time. Live cell imaging with GFP provides real-time observation of these protein dynamics, providing valuable insights into cellular processes. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, is a powerful tool for monitoring gene expression and cellular processes. When GFP is fused to a gene of interest, it allows researchers to track the expression of that gene by observing GFP fluorescence. The presence or absence of GFP fluorescence reveals whether the target gene is being transcribed and translated. GFP reporters also help investigate important cellular processes like protein trafficking, cell signaling, and developmental pathways. By observing the localization and intensity of GFP, scientists can gain insights into how these processes are regulated within cells. Enhanced GFP, or EGFP, is a brighter and more stable variant of the original GFP. It's commonly used in research due to its improved fluorescence properties. Cyan fluorescent protein, or CFP, emits blue fluorescence. This enables the simultaneous visualization of multiple proteins in cells using different fluorescent probes. Yellow fluorescent protein, or YFP, is a variant of GFP that emits yellow fluorescence. This offers a distinct spectral characteristic for multicolor imaging. Red fluorescent protein, or RFP, emits red fluorescence. This expands the color palette for multicolor imaging and allows for the visualization of deeper tissues. The image on this slide shows a group of scientists observing a live cell under a microscope with the cell glowing green due to the presence of GFP, green fluorescent protein. The slide outlines four key advantages of using GFP. Non-invasive imaging, GFP allows researchers to observe biological processes without disturbing the organism or its cells. Direct visualization, GFP fluorescence, provides a direct visualization of protein expression and localization within living cells and organisms. Quantitative analysis, GFP fluorescence intensity can be quantified, providing insights into protein levels, cellular activity, and gene expression. Versatility, GFP has been widely used in various fields, including cell biology, developmental biology, and disease research. These advantages make GFP a powerful tool for scientific research, enabling researchers to study biological processes in a non-invasive and quantitative manner. The slide outlines some key limitations of using green fluorescent protein, GFP, as a biological marker. First, GFP and its variants only emit light within a narrow range of colors, which restricts our ability to differentiate and track multiple proteins simultaneously. Second, GFP is prone to photobleaching, where its fluorescence fades over time when exposed to light. This limits the duration of long-term imaging and analysis. Third, the relatively large size of GFP can interfere with the function of the target protein, potentially leading to altered protein folding or interactions. Finally, GFP expression levels can vary significantly between cells and over time, making it challenging to obtain consistent and reliable data. These limitations highlight the need to explore alternative fluorescent markers 
that can overcome the shortcomings of GFP. The image on this slide provides a colorful, microscopic representation of a cell, highlighting various processes happening within its membrane, such as protein folding and signaling pathways. This slide introduces the topic of emerging technologies that utilize the green fluorescent protein, GFP, to advance scientific research and understanding. I'll briefly cover four key areas where GFP is being used, super-resolution microscopy, optogenetics, biosensors, and nanoscale imaging. Super-resolution microscopy techniques like state and palm allow researchers to visualize cellular structures in unprecedented detail, even smaller than the diffraction limit of light. Optogenetics combines genetics and optics to control the activity of specific cells using light. GFP can be used to tag and monitor the expression of light-sensitive proteins in living organisms. GFP can be engineered to create biosensors that change their fluorescence properties in response to specific stimuli like pH, oxygen, or the presence of molecules. These sensors enable real-time monitoring of cellular processes. GFP-based probes are being used to develop novel imaging techniques for studying the nanoscale world, allowing visualization of biomolecules, nanoparticles, and other nanoscale objects with high sensitivity and specificity. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, has been a game-changer for live cell imaging. It allows researchers to observe and study cellular processes in real time, providing unprecedented insights. The image on this slide shows a live cell with the GFP protein glowing bright green, revealing the cell's internal structure and nucleus. This technique enables scientists to visualize dynamic events within cells that were previously impossible to see. GFP has revolutionized our understanding of cellular biology and opened up new avenues of research. GFP, or green fluorescent protein, has revolutionized protein engineering by allowing researchers to visualize and study protein dynamics. Researchers can create fusion proteins by linking GFP to a target protein, which enables them to track protein localization, monitor protein-protein interactions, and analyze protein folding and stability. GFP can also be used to screen for proteins with specific functions. By fusing GFP to a protein of interest, researchers can use fluorescence-activated cell sorting, FACS, to isolate cells expressing the, the desired protein. The future of GFP protein. technology is exciting. The image on the right shows a 3D model of a protein molecule and improved with variants. one half glowing green. These and enhanced the GFP versions offer represent increased brightness elements. and specificity, enabling more precise visualization of cellular processes. Multicolor imaging using distinct GFP variants allows simultaneous tracking of multiple cellular components. GFP is being increasingly used for in vivo studies, providing insights into development and disease in living organisms. Combining GFP with advanced microscopy techniques, like super-resolution, is achieving unprecedented resolution in visualizing cellular structures and dynamics.